Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. The Australian dollar traded in a relatively tight range overnight, but still the market is waiting for the Australian Labour Force data release, which is out soon. It is expected that the number is going to be around 9.1k new jobs for last month, with the previous being 42.3, which was a slight disappointment due to the fact his 39.8 was part-time jobs and 2.4 was full-time. It is assessed that the unemployment rate will stay at 5.2% and therefore could see further talk of another rate cut from the RBA. From a technical point, you can still see that the supply zone from the level of 70, 30, 60 is still playing a relatively strong part to cap in the Aussie from rallying. With the doji in play, does give us a little bit of uncertainty where we are trading at 70 cents, but nevertheless, the market is still poised for a further down test to 69.65 to 69.10 as the objective and also the previous low. Any advances should be capped at 70.60 and with stop losses now around 70.90. Well, let's round of demand overnight for the US dollar. In terms of the market though, it did briefly look at 97.15 before backing away and this also gave a little bit of momentum and with the buyers now stepping in front of the 111.18.90. It is assessed that the market could stage a slight further up test to 112.65 to 113.30.40 as the dollar index does slip away from that 97.15 cap but I'd still view an opportunity to short the market towards the top side of this range around 112.95 to 113.40.50. With the cap still holding roughly at the high of 108 for dollar yen, it did strengthen overnight and the market turned back to the downside and looking to its objective of 107.15.25. The yen strengthened on the back of the fact that President Trump has once again upset the market by saying that US and China trade uncertainty may continue after saying he could impose more tariffs on China. He said that there's, there's still a long way to go, as he spoke to reporters, also adding the US can slap another additional 325 billion worth of Chinese goods, if we want, he said. Reassessed from 107.15.25, any advances above 108 should fail. There is some divergence coming in to the, the British pound. As you can see from these last two lows, the indicator for the RSI is going up, and also is the MACD. Therefore, could see a base from 123.50.70 and see a recovery back up towards the region of 124.70 to 125.55. But let's see how it plays out. At present, Boris Johnson is the vote. Of, and also, more to the fact, is from what the papers are saying, is odds hardened on Britain's no-deal exit from the EU, EU. But Boris Johnson looks set to win the Conservative leadership race. So let's see how that all plays out also. Gold surged overnight after bouncing from the lows around 1,400, which was the base, and back up towards 1,420-odd. We're going to look now to 30, maybe even to 38, where this cap is. With the uncertainty out there, along with Iran, along with the China and tariffs, and also the stock market, still keeps the flavour in taste for the gold buying safe haven and the bullish outside range day could be another sign this market it could break up further to the upside any pullbacks at this stage see support at 18 12 and 96 06 with a top side of 30 to 38 crucial above 38 could see the rise up to 1500 wrapping up with oil the market took another one and a half percent tumble off overnight after dropping three percent the previous day after talks that Iran and US are back on. But oddly to say in the newspapers that Iran has actually denied this. So I'm not sure on any suggestion that is of talks. So I'm not sure what's really going on there. But the basis of $56 a barrel beneath there could see down towards 54. Resistance at this stage of 57.60. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the Inch Dove Paul. And I hope you enjoy the great start to this new day.